And my man Wallow coming in. My, my man. guy. What's happening, man? What's up, man? Oh, man. Uh, just bobbing, man. Chilling. Just bobbing, man. I, I rescinded the request before Q came on there. Oh, you did? But it was yeah, going through so. I couldn't see it was going through so. You know what I'm saying? You probably didn't see that, John. What you in there making a shake? No, not right now. No, I'm just eating some water. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, though, man? Man, I'm good, man. I'm feeling good, man. Just, you know, just playing the, um, the new EP, the motivation for them. Yeah, that's how you got to do you it, know? man. It's, you know, everything is about, uh, everything is about grind, you know? Yeah. Like, you know, a lot of people, like, everybody say they want it. You got to find, sometimes you got to just, you, you know, you got to find something that can motivate you. Yeah. In different ways. And, like, uh, my motivation was me personally, my brother getting killed. That was my motivation. Right. It was like, I got to live for my nieces and my nephews and shit, his kids. Mm -hmm. And I always was a person that would go out and get it. I always was idealistic. I always had ideas. And I'm the type of motherfucker that wears them. If I got some ideas, I'm going to zone out, tap into my, my world, tap into what I got to do, and I'm going right. to make sure I materialize. I'm going to make sure that I'm able to materialize it to the best to the best of my abilities. Like, right. Right. I'm going here first. I ain't waiting. I ain't, nah, I'm going in. Yeah. Uh, you know, coming out of jail, it can be hard. You know what I mean? Like, a lot of people might see me and they'll understand that, like, I represent, like, 1% that can come out of jail and go right to it. Because right. a lot of people come out of here with distractions. A lot of people got children. They got to, you know, get with They got children. Some people got had drug addictions. Mm -hmm. Some people still don't know, ain't sure what they want to do in life. So when you come out, you're not sure. Mm -hmm. You're bound to go anyway. You know yeah. what I mean? There's a bunch of different routes you can take. If you know how it is, you come home and your man got yeah. a package or your man got a gun, he trying to bust a move, you go any way. Uh, yeah. And it's like, I'm thankful to me that I was able to tap into technology when mm -hmm. I was in jail and I was able to, uh, basically I was able to be able to, I was able to be able to, I was able to, to be able to, to know what, what that shit, how powerful it was. Mm-hmm. Cause you got a lot of people. They don't know how powerful this shit is. They they be they, they don't. be on it, but they don't know how powerful this shit is. Like they they be on social media, but they don't they don't get it. Like I get listen, I don't really get that shit. Like I don't really I really sat in the cell and studied that shit. Under, try my best to understand algorithms and all that shit. Hold on, hold on. Mm -hmm. Try my best to understand algorithms and you know what this shit is really all about. Hold on, woman. Right. Like, right. You got Wallow on, y'all. You know when Wallow And try to understand and try to understand what this shit was about because it was like I knew for me reading so many magazines in jail that technology was the future. So for me to be able to go on uh Google in my cell mm -hmm. and have my book of life and be like, damn, I remember people told me about Google. I'm gonna try this now. I'm gonna just mm -hmm. type shit in. Not right. knowing what to do and just typing my name in for the first time and me being shocked that information popped up. Oh, how they got me on here? They know everything. Right. And it was like to be able to sit in my cell and have a satellite in my pocket. This is a satellite to me. You can reach anywhere in the world. To anyway. be able to have a satellite in my pocket, I was like, yo. So I was able to do a lot of research and just know that technology was king out here. Like mm -hmm. some people now, they realize the content. They realize the technology. I've been knowing that. I've been yeah. I've been understood in content, like, like even with music. Like I tell dudes, I couldn't be a rapper in this day. And the reason I say that is because I'm not saying I couldn't. I'm just saying I, a lot of people will be lucky because what I understand more than anything is, it's content. Because one thing that I look for my personal studies in prison and just reading and being on tech and being having that phone in a cell was that people first listen with their eyes, then they listen with their ears. You got a lot of people out here that's hot. You got a lot of people out here that got good music, Mike, mm -hmm. but they miss the big picture of it. Like, they miss yeah. it. So, like, you hear people, especially in the city we from, right. you always going to hear somebody say, I'm the hottest in the city. I'm the hottest in the city. I'm the hottest right. in the city. Like, yeah. that, that's just like, let me see what this dude talking about. Yeah. That's just like, that's just like everything. You know what I mean? Yeah, and that's, that's, that's basically what they think is all based upon. Like, when everybody is based upon is like, the business part of it. Everybody say I'm the hottest in the city. At mm -hmm. the same time, 
homie, you can rap, calm down. It's not about being the hottest, bro. Shout it's out to Gilly. Stay in here, Gilly. Don't go nowhere, Gil. Listen, it's not about being the hottest, bro. It's never, yeah. hey, but I'm the hot young boy, chill. Yeah. Like, and then you try to, you know, like me, I'm the type of dude, can I share some information with you? Mm -hmm. And I try to tell dudes, you hot, homie. But in order to really be somebody in this game, you got to make people believe in you. You got to make people want to be you, just like Lenny S said. Exactly. And I'm saying it to say, like, and I keep telling dudes this, but they don't listen. Mm -hmm. what am I, shout out to a young boy. You know, as you know, we got mac and cheese coming. Gill kids, we ready right. to destroy shit with them. But I right. want to shout out to a young boy, a young boy named Sean Sloan. Oh, yeah, he's tough. Not just that. One thing I like about this young cat. He's tough. One thing he's I like about him. He listened. Yeah. I don't have no I don't have no business ties with him or nothing, but he'd call and just take insight, he'd put it to work. Yeah. I gave it to a lot of people, they ain't get it. Mm -hmm. And I keep telling young boys, listen, man, you gotta move around. This shit is more about moving around as it is about your music. Like I tell a dude, dude be like, oh man, music, I'm hot, I'm hot. Nobody gives a fuck about that. It's fifteen hundred people in your neighborhood that's hot, bro. You gotta come outside. You gotta show something right? different because all of y'all hot, but all the pictures the same. All the, so it's like, yeah. oh, you gotta move around. Gotta People move start around. fucking with you. They see the clown. When yeah. they start seeing you move around, damn, this yeah. dude hot. Any, you know what I mean? Move around. You ain't gotta have the best money. You ain't gotta oh. have the best drip. You ain't gotta have the super clothes. You can wear you see, Adidas sweatsuit. Yep. Hoodies and Yeezy, it don't take right. a lot. You gotta have the Balenciaga. You ain't gotta have all that shit. Got to move around. So, cause you know, at the end of the day, cause if you spend eight hundred dollars on sneakers and you standing in the ghetto, you a nut. You you goofy. And this yeah. is why you goofy if you're an artist. Yeah. Because you could have took that money, that eight hundred dollars, and you could have yeah. went to three, probably two two cities. Yeah. You could have went to two happen. cities, got an Airbnb, did some kind, or got a studio shots like eight hundred dollars. These days, you got dudes out here shooting videos for. Three, four hundred. Yeah. Move. You could have shot three, four. You ain't got no content, but you got, I'm hot, I'm hot, I'm hot. Shut yeah. up. Nobody care. Where's Nobody the content? Care. How Where many videos content, do you got bro. on YouTube? Yeah. Okay. You need to tell me, how many videos do you got on YouTube? Yeah. Like, where's Where you your damn likes on YouTube? Where's your content? They don't want to listen to nobody. Like, now, 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 like, one thing I shout out about Sean Sloan, through this corona, he just been destroying shit. He dropped, like, last month, he dropped, like, seven videos. Mm-hmm. Nothing stop it. And, and, and to these artists, please do me a favor. Stop worrying about the numbers. Stop worrying about, Thank oh, you. I only got 50, I only got 55. Just put it Thank out. Don't think about the numbers. Put it out. Don't think about no I'll, numbers. Just, just, just put it out, and I'm telling you. That's what I be I'll saying. Be, listen, when you put it out, don't worry about people will look at it. I ain't got this many likes. Saying, listen, I'm the type of boy right now. If I did music right now, I'll be doing shows and events. I'm saying outside of this whole COVID-19. I'll be doing shows and events. And I have 70, I mean, 50 to 75 max. That's all you can come to my show. Right. I make my shit boutique until I'm ready to open it up. But I open it up slowly. Because I'm not worrying about who not checking me out right now. But if I take care of my fans and my supporters that is checking me out, they're yeah. going to be the marketers. They're going to be my campaign management. They're going to run the LA. Yeah. But everybody so caught up in, listen, bro, stop worrying about this person fan base. Oh, you listen. To, you 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 don't listen to me, but you listen to me. And you listen. Meek Meek fan base might not be yours. Mm -hmm. Your fan That'll base be might you. be talented the creator type people, or your That'll fan base you. might be J Cole type people, or your fan base might be people that listen to Wale. It's different mm -hmm. vibes, different tribes. So you got to be able to tap into. You got to. You first of all, you got to respect your vibe. Then you got to tap into your tribe. Mm -hmm. And I don't think a lot of people understand that because everybody be so caught up on. They be so caught up on, I just want to be hot right now. Mm. That shit take time. Take time to build. Like a person could look at me and say, damn, wow. A person could look at me and say, damn, wow, you doing this? Bro, I've been doing this shit every day for 38 months. Better every know. day I got up. I wasn't, I wasn't chilling. I wasn't sitting back getting high or laying back. Over. I wasn't doing none of that shit. I was mm -hmm. grinding. And I'm not telling no young cat, don't, I'm telling you about content. Cause I can speak about content. Better know Cause there's boys out there who music ain't the great, yeah. but I'm catching everybody anyway. content. Yeah, cause they shit everywhere. Listen, they they stuff everywhere, and, and even if it's not everywhere, it's like mm -hmm. these dudes is not afraid. They they because on some real shit. As me being a, a music consumer or a consumer of, I want to see your life outside of rap. There you go. 
I want to see. I want to see your life, boss. I don't care if you in the store. Go. I don't listen. I don't care if you in the store. I don't care if you if you in the car. Yeah. I just I don't care if you with your kid. I mm -hmm. want to tap into the. I want to make a human connection with you because that's mm -hmm. what people make. They make a human connection. It's bigger than your music because you yeah. just say music, and then we're gonna talk about also. Talk to if, me. If you're a young boy and you watching this, could you do me a favor? Could you just listen? Mm -hmm. You ain't gotta never listen to nobody else in your life. Just listen right here. Talk to me. Stop him. looking for management. Stop looking for somebody to invest money into you, mm -hmm. and you know everything. Yeah. Like you know everything. Do it like yourself. It's, then. it's young boys running around here that have fifteen managers. They know everything. Nope. They they can't make it out the they can't make it out the out the zip code that they was born in. But nope. they have fifteen managers. They know everything. They don't want to listen. You want somebody to spend your money and you don't want to listen? Mm -hmm. Is you kidding me? Yeah. Like you kidding me? You yeah. want somebody to invest their hard earned money into you, but you don't want to listen. You got it all. No, I'm doing it. This I got it all. Okay. And then you look up because I'm gonna tell you something, young boys. Talk you don't have me. that much time, young boys. You don't have that much time. But when I say you don't have that much time, we living in the game now. This when you come out the first time, when you come out, when you come out, don't be laughing, feet. You better be. Where, 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 where my younger than? Fake feet. Mm -hmm. KP, listen, listen up, KP. Tell them. All y'all listen. Yeah, don't tell be in a situation where though you look up because you don't have time. Because now every day is a new young boy coming out, and you becoming old if you got six. Once you once you get your first run and you get that buzz and you get it, it's mm -hmm. sometimes hard to bounce back. And you'll yeah. find yourself, you'll find yourself these young boys looking at you like you're an old nigga now. They be like, oh man, you had your shot. In the city that we come from, they don't get too many shots out. No, I don't get you too get many shots. You get a six one after that, you're done. You're done, you hit. Like, like you're done. After six months, they're like, oh no, no, we ain't we ain't doubling back. We gave you a shot. You ain't you ain't get out of here. No. Oh, we not gonna keep we not gonna keep reinvesting in you. Yeah, you ain't do nothing. You ain't do nothing. You see what I'm saying? It, that's that. Listen, that's how it be. You you would be like, damn, and it'd be like, yo, man. One thing about this, you got to create a movement. Mm -hmm. People love to be a part of movements. If I was rapping, me personally, mm -hmm. I'm taking it back to the state property. I'm taking it back to the major figures, mm -hmm. and me, I'm going to find me a boy from South Philly, mm -hmm. a boy from Uptown, mm -hmm. a boy from uh, uh, West Philly, and a boy from Southwest. So you gotta Everybody do it. There, and we're gonna blitz this whole shit. I'm gonna get a logo and we're gonna shut the whole out. We will shut the whole Philly down. We're gonna because you know why? We're gonna form like eight, eight, we're gonna form like Voltron. Voltron. That's yeah. Five different neighborhoods, bro. Yeah, there you go. That's so how I go to South Philly. And this person is a part of this brand. Yeah. You might not, everybody not mess with it, but his neighborhood coming and you have sprinkles of people through South Philly that's coming. Mm -hmm. West Philly, the state coming. And then we just gonna swarm this shit and shut it all down. So when it shows them, it's gonna be a movement. And I'm gonna have a motherfucking cameraman. I'm gonna have two cameramen that's gonna document every minute of this shit. Yo, you know what else they do? You know what else they do too? Let me tell you what's crazy. I have multiple, except for one person. I'm gonna say his name, except for one person, Leaf, uh, Leaf Ward. I love good dude. I love Leaf. Dude, I love Leaf. I had, I had three record labels call me for three different artists. And they wanted to sign every last one of them. I'm talking about deals ready to go. And they so cocky and thinking they know the game, right? That they ain't want to do it. Because they think they know the game. They listen to the person that they caught up in paperwork with a person that's investing money in them that want his money back. So if the money don't sound right, there's no deal. Mm -hmm. See, they're not looking at that part of the game, too. These, a lot of these rappers, these young guys, they talk this talk and they act like they're this and they're that. But they had these older guys taking care of them. You know what I'm saying? So now you look up and he got the artist for two, three years. He over 200,000 in him or more. So now when the deal come, what he got? So he turning it down. He turning that joint down. But you messing relationships up when you turning these deals down. So like you said, you can't double back. Yeah, and it's like when you hot, you got to seize the moment sometimes. Like me, I'm the dude that's like, I'm the dude that like, man, like I'm, I, listen, bro, I'm one of the dudes, the only boys in Philly. I ain't saying I'm one of. I used to have moments where I just wake up and I'd be like, I'm throwing a hundred rappers up today. Mm -hmm. Even though, even if they rap, even if they rap was going against my mission and my campaign, what they yeah. said, you know, I'm telling you, I'm, ain't about, but but let me tell you something. 
If you're a young boy and you growing up in the ghetto, mm. I might be telling you, don't do this, don't be doing that. And your music might speak against my message, but yeah. I'm understanding this. Only thing that you doing is, is you just, you just painting, you just telling the world about your trauma that you've been through and the struggle. And yeah. I'm gonna tell you something. I'd rather this young boy be rapping about this shit than actually doing it. And if yeah. I got a way to try to help them get out, I'm gonna try when I can. So yeah. let me post them up, cause you, me, there's a lot of executives that follow me. There's a lot of people in the game. There's a lot of people that's my friends in the game. Right. And you know what I mean? I'm hoping that somebody can be posted one day and somebody has seen them and they can say, listen, man, and they can save somebody's life because a lot of these young boys is rapping because you yeah. see a city from North, South, West, what's the name? And my, I'm talking about my city for everybody that's out there. I can't speak on other yeah. cities because, but well, I can't sure. to the extent because I, violence is everywhere, but I'm talking about the young that I'm seeing. Right. I know that these young boys, they could be going any day and they doing this shit like, I don't know how to do it enough. I ain't got no GED and I'm not making no excuse for nobody because I don't play that shit. But I understand that, you know what I mean? I can help them when I can help them. But at the end of the day, I still got to do what I got to do. But when I, I get that, I just go crazy. Let me throw these balls up. Let me try. Somebody might see them and somebody mm -hmm. may change their life because, and then it's so hard because when I grew up and I was doing music, it was only about, before I started the figures, it probably was about like, 15 rap groups, 15, you know, because there were more groups back then in the 90s. But they ain't the only reason why you throw them up, neither. You throw them up, you throw them up because when you look at them, you see you. I see me. And I didn't have it. Listen, I didn't have that joint. And I understand, even, even rapidly, listen, now I understand. I know how it is when I was young. I thought I knew everything. So I'm real sympathetic to a lot of these cats. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I'll be just like, I, I wish, like, I got to position me so I can position us. Yeah, and I'm still and I'm still calm. A lot of people see me like, damn, wow, no, 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 no. I'm not, no, no. I, I'm chasing a hundred million. I'm trying to have a hundred million in thirty six months from this platform to shit yeah. that I'm doing. So yeah. I'm trying to get a position so I can put people in position. So you it's see, a different play with me. I'm not. You know what? You, you, you know, for I'm, me, Wallo, I, like for me, I'm gonna tell you what I used to always do. I would always put me last. I would always take any like when I when I got the relationship. With, with with 50 Cent prior to me going to jail, I can't sit, I can sit here and say I wasn't in the the right frame of mind and doing the correct music to make things go where they needed to be because I was still dimming and diving in the streets. But I had the connection to help other people. So I had no problem with picking up a phone or putting any rapper in the city of Philadelphia that I felt was talented enough to be in front of them to try to make something happen. From Reed Dollars, Cheap Wall. Yo, stop. Uh, I mean, the, 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 the names, the names go on, so many names, bro, that it's not even about throwing them out there or making them feel no way or nothing. But even the G with the Philly thing, I took that, I took three guys from different places and made that happen, right? Now, you look up and later they understand why, like, they understand the position they was in. They understand what it could have been. Because everybody don't get in a position to be in front of these type of people uh -huh. to even get a record deal or to even meet them and talk about doing a record deal or doing any type of business. Philly got so much talent, right? We got so much talent. Mm -hmm. But don't nobody want to listen to nobody. And, and you know what it is? It ain't really about listening. But I had to realize that too. A lot of it is this. You got to understand this. We grow up in an environment, right, where mm -hmm. the mistrust is at its all-time high. Yeah, without a doubt. So, you know, yeah. I, had to, I had to internalize this. Because I'm one of them boys that I might go on a walk. I might walk for two hours, and I just be thinking, listening to my music. I'm really right. into my own world. I might, be, I might drive from right. D.C. all the way to New York and back to Baltimore, back to, and just be listening to music and zoning and thinking. Mm -hmm. and, I had to really think about it. I said, damn, it's a lot of trauma that hit our community. A lot of it people hit by damn. And you understand, it's, it's a little resentment for older black men in our community because a lot of older dudes that were supposed to be OGs, they was old fleas and they was doing some dumb shit and putting these young boys on sucker missions. So a yes, lot of times were. when you're trying to tell a young boy with something to do, they got resentment for the way they was taking advantage of our older black men. So they pushed the fuck off like, man, yeah, true. come on. And because they tried it before. Tried it before. Same old head, I, that, that I thought loved me, he told me that, that, that from, it goes from the dude that was coming in the house that was fucking my mom, did her wrong, right. my pop left, 
He didn't, you know what I mean? So every experience they had, and then when they hit the streets, motherfuckers say, here, go get a touchdown. They get locked up. Motherfucker ain't coming to bail them out or none of that. So they yeah. had some bad experience with older black men, so I can understand that shit. Right. You know what I mean? And it's a lot of trying and this other shit that took place, but at the same time, it be it be it be draining, but I still try to be patient as much as possible. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because if, if if the shoe was on the other foot, I would want them to do that for me. You dig what I'm saying? So so it's like mm -hmm. at the end at the end of the day, it's like these young cats, like me, I, I done been in studios with dudes. I done seen them. I done seen mm -hmm. a lot of these young kids. It's so many of them in Philly, it's like it's too many to name. Mm -hmm. But it's like everybody's like, like I tell, I always tell these young boys. Stop saying you the hottest in Philly. Mm. Hey, thank the Lord, you the hottest, you the hottest, period. Don't mm. just be the hottest in Philly and don't even just, for real, for real, you ain't even trying, you ain't even got to say that. All you got to do is perform and put your work down. Mm -hmm. and, and like I tell people, people will always say, I ain't got a camera, I ain't got a camera. Nigga, I ain't have a camera. I ain't have a camera. <laughs> I had this. I ain't got, and I got, listen, I got shitload of content on here, man. On these and what you say? Clouds. And what you say? What you say, bro? It is just like that, huh? And it's just like that. I ain't had a camera. <laughs> I ain't had this. So my whole thing be like, listen, bro. We living in the tech technology age, right? We living in the age where it's though, you can take a couple dollars, and you could be, like this. I'm talking about literally. You could be gone. Like mm -hmm. you could take a couple dollars and be like, that's how easy the game is, bro. We living in the world. We living in the world now where it's though, you could do some shit that's like. You could go on YouTube, get a beat. Or you, I know you know somebody that got beats. Mm -hmm. I know you know somebody that got studio time. I know you, it's a lot of shit you could do. Like, and when I, the way I see money, I see money differently. Well, I look at how can I maximize this shit. Lock in the know. graphic design. You lock in the graphic design. You lock in the video board. You lock in the studio that you get. If you ain't got the money to get your own studio, you lock into that shit. You put that work in and you stack your shit up. And find somebody that can give you some game. Find somebody. Matt, where you at, Matt? You see what I'm saying? Find some, find somebody, find somebody that you can listen to. But at the end of the day, hey, Wallo. Yeah. I'm gonna call you, bro. I gotta pop this off. All right, go ahead. Y'all do y'all thing. You know you gonna go, bro. Love, bro. All right. All right. All right, y'all. Hold on. All right, it's, it's turn up time. We was turned up. Now we're gonna turn all the way.